Hi, I'm Matt McDonald with Falcon Boats, and we specialize in building multi-hull vessels. There's three primary reasons why people consider buying catamarans over a traditional V-hull monohull. The first is space. The second is stability, and the third is rough water handling. This boat is a 22 feet in length. It's eight foot six wide. A catamaran is typically slightly wider than a, an equivalent length monohull, but the width of the boat on a monohull is measured at the very back, which then transitions to a point. On a catamaran, we're keeping our full width almost all the way forward. So that gives us significantly more deck space than you would see on an equivalently length monohull. So at Falcon, when we developed this boat, we spent a lot of time trying to maximize the deck space that we could get for a 22-foot boat. One of the features that we did was to sweep the back transom so that now I've got room to be able to pat, two people can pass each other behind the helm station. The other feature on a catamaran that's a big advantage over a lot of monohulls is stability. Uh, because we've got two hulls spaced wide, the boat's much more stable at float. Uh, somebody hooks a big fish and we all run to the other side of the boat to see what's up. You see the boat tips very little. Unlike a lot of boats, you might be on where you get all the weight on one side of the boat and it feels like you're about to flip the boat over. You don't get that in a catamaran. So on a catamaran, you've got two wide spaced engines. Um, the advantage of that is that you can do very fine close quarter maneuvering. The base of the engines allows you to be able to drive it like a tank where I can put one reverse, one and forward, and I can basically spin in place. By giving just a little bit more forward or reverse, then that spin can be adjusted where I can be turning and back up. And do very fine maneuvering. So trim on this boat is very critical. Uh, every time you go out, you're going to have a different amount of fuel, a different crew weight. Those conditions are going to be different. Um, so when you get on the boat, how it's trimmed is going to vary from time to time. So what I do to, to start out on any given day is going to ease the boat up to about 20 miles an hour. There's very little bow rise on this boat. So there's no need to slam it to get up to speed. When I hit 20 miles an hour, what I'm going to do is feel what the boat's doing. So right now, if I let go of the wheel, it's got, it's driving pretty straight, but it's got a little bit of a wander to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim up on the motors until I can let go of the wheel and it doesn't go anywhere. So when I have my trim set correctly, the boat's gonna drive basically by itself. This is gonna be my baseline trim for the day in the, these conditions. So right now we're about 40, 45% with how we're loaded up. So I'm probably never gonna trim down below that on anything I do in a day. The other thing for people who are not familiar with catamarans, because there's two holes, they stay very flat. Um, and when I go into a turn, especially at lower speeds, I'm gonna have just a little bit of an outboard lean on my turn. That feels a little bit strange if you're not used to it, but it's not anything to worry about. So you may hang on, I'll show you. What I'm gonna do is if I've got that little outboard lean, you don't have to worry about the boat falling over. So if I go into a very hard turn now, it's not leaning more. It basically flattens out and drifts almost like a car on a dirt track. So when we're going into a turn, especially at a lower speed, to counteract the outboard lean, I can trim down on the outboard motor 
as we're going into the turn and it'll stay very flat. It's not something you have to do, um, but it makes people a little bit more comfortable on the boat if they're not used to it. The only key is that when I come out of the turn, I want to make sure that I trim back up. One of the other big differences in between monohulls and catamarans is that we handle rough water much better. So I actually want to go fast over the waves. If I go very slow over a wave or run down the trough, that wave is actually going to grab in between my hulls and pull me whichever way it wants to go. So I'm following waves right now and they pull me a little bit. So if I go fast over the waves, it's much smoother. The boat's not getting pulled everywhere. <laughs> 